Cub box making lie. Okay. I, it has to do with the buckets. It's it for some reason it's not telling me that it needs buckets. Um, on the wiki or in the workshop here but it's definitely the buckets because once I started making them in the carpenter's workshop here um, I didn't have any in the fortress except for the one that I used to make the workshop now that I have two buckets I used the original bucket to make the workshop and now I need some empty buckets extra not part of the workshop to make the rest of the lie. So I'm following uh, Kobuk right now. And look, he's going for a bucket. There it is. So if for some reason you're not making lie and you have everything except buckets, you need buckets. Crawlers running around uh, in the food stockpile here. Okay, so now I can make soap from tallow. T. Make soap from tallow. Repeat. Alt W. Range of this. Shift A. Bars of any soap. Range of this is going to be 500 to 777. Okay, excellent. So now I will destroy that workshop. Build workshop Y for an ashery. I'm just gonna put that right here. It's gonna require blocks, a barrel, and a bucket. And then they're gonna need to go off and, and get more buckets when they're building the, um, when they're creating the lie, they need to go to another area to get buckets. So maybe I'll make a small stockpile for buckets nearby as well. Yeah, see, there's like five buckets here. P, X, and then remove that stockpile. a barn block stockpile and I'm going to put that right there the settings of this I'm going to forbid everything except for ash I'm going to make another stockpile of furniture and I'm going to put that right there the settings of this it's only going to so it's only going to accept buckets so I'm going to forbid the type and then just uh, go to buckets in the list here press enter build W for workshop shift s for a soap makers workshop and then put it right here it's going to require buckets and um, stone or, or building material I'm going to put that right there Give them a minute to get everything sorted. Okay, now on the ashery here, add a new task, make lie, repeat. I already set the workflow of this. Um, I'm gonna adjust it, because that's way too high. So, um, do four to eight. Twenty to forty ash bars, and then four to eight lie, and then I just want as much soap as possible. Make soap from tallow. Repeat that. Alt W. 
uh, so 500 to 777 and then I'll probably end up adjusting that down once we get a decent amount of soap and so the kitchen when we slaughter the animals in the kitchen here it's gonna automatically render the fat if you add a task and try to render the fat and it's red um, you're gonna slaughter an animal and then um, while they're rendering the fat in the um, kitchen you just repeat the task and they're gonna bring the fat up the stairs to this um, food stockpile which only accepts rendered fat this is a food stockpile that only accepts lye or mystic liquid my main food stockpile doesn't accept either one the wood comes in the woods brought to the wooden furnace to make ash the ash is brought to the ash stockpile. Empty buckets are brought to the furniture stockpile that only accept buckets. The ash and the bucket of water is combined in the ashery to make the lye. The lye and the fat are combined in the soap maker's workshop to make soap. The soap is then brought to the hospital. Here. We have a soap stockpile outside the hospital, but it's brought to the hospital. So you go to I for zones. You move the keyboard selector over the hospital. Shift H for hospital information. You move up and down this list with the plus and minus. And then you can adjust the numbers here with um, four or six or shift four and six. Thanks for checking out this short clip from my Dwarf Fortress Let's Play. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and the notification button so you can be one of the first ones to check out my new videos when they come out. If you want to watch the full series, head over to the playlist section of my YouTube page and look for Basement Graves and Beers.